The coronavirus. Plague, pestilence. What does the Bible say about it? Coronavirus is now sweeping across the globe with the ferocity of a tsunami. We've watched it devastate Wuhan, Italy, Spain. This week, all eyes are on New York, the newest epicenter of the virus. There, doctors are battling. The picture is just as grim farther afield in other parts of the world. For those of us in Australia and New Zealand, though, it seems that the curve is beginning to flatten. But we're still on the edge of our seats, wondering which way this crisis will turn. What does the Bible have to say about everything that is taking place around us? Well, Bible prophecy, in fact, does mention deadly viruses or pestilences. And there will be great earthquakes in various places, and famines and pestilences, and there will be fearful sights and great signs from heaven. So the Bible does mention that prior to Jesus coming, there will be widespread natural disasters and diseases around the world. For nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and in various places there will be famines, pestilences, and earthquakes. But all these things are merely the beginning of birth pain, and that's true of viruses. In recent times, we've seen Ebola, SARS, MERS, and now COVID-19. This increase will signal the soon return of Jesus, which means that while we don't exactly know when Jesus will come, we can be sure that his coming is near. Now, while COVID-19 might not signal the end of the world as we know it, it might be a signal for us to sit up and take notice and to prepare for Jesus soon coming. These things I have spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. He says, peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. I will never leave you nor forsake you.